Okay, so this is a very exciting to get this movie in my collection. I've been trying to get this movie for over a year now on DVD. Uh, it's about $40. Um, because of shipping, you're paying a little bit more. So, I have to have this in the collection. Um, I saved a little bit. I bought it for 35 bucks or so with shipping. Uh, it came from UK. So... That's uh, what I've been looking for, but I think the other parts I might buy on the, uh, like a mix pack, or at least try to get part two. There are a couple parts to this movie, uh, it's not one I remember, but it's what I never got to see that Blockbuster had, so I want to have it for my own collection uh, when it came out on VHS. Let's see if I can still open it. My thumb is getting a little bit better, but still, uh, not very mobile yet. So, the hardest has been, uh, I had, had it once last year, but it's never been this bad. It's only been for uh, a day or so, but now it's been a whole week. It's gonna probably take a couple, a good couple months for it to heal up. I think it could be arthritis. It could be something else. Uh, for some reason, it's pretty hard to make an appointment in my city now. I don't, you cannot get an appointment for any kind of illness. Uh, so you're stuck on your own. For some reason, uh, you cannot get an appointment in my city. I don't, don't know why. I tried. Uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, it looks weird. Oh, that does look kind of weird. Uh, never seen one like that before. The uh, square like that. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be standard for the grooves like that, but um, see the spine. Spine looks original, so it could be the way it's made. Special features, DVD, um, it could be how it is, I don't know. It looks to be like a copy, but... Uh, it's how it is, weird, the square, like that. Uh, uh, original DVD but it's weird how it's uh, designed so I never had this movie I've been trying to get uh, either on VHS or on DVD Blu-ray or paying at least 50 bucks so um, I don't bother with Blu-ray um, unless I find something locally when I go thrifting but um, for 30 35 bucks uh, it's a lot of money for an old movie um, you, you could get two movies for about 40 bucks um, so for, for the price of one, this is the rarest movie I have in my collection right now for horror. Uh, it's Ghoulies. Um, so that's a big one off my list. Could try to get part two maybe near the end of the year or at least l next year. Um, uh, then I got a couple other movies and a couple uh, Chuck Norris movies on there that I don't have yet. So, so a few things on here then goes into my music. So. If I can get one, if I can get part two, I probably, I don't know if I'll get it this year or not, but it'll cost at least uh, 40 bucks as well, so, and there's at least three or four parts to Ghoulies, don't know if it's any good or not, but uh, it's always been around 40 bucks, uh, but at least I saved at least five bucks on this one, I think I paid 32 bucks or 35 bucks on it, so, uh, I saved at least five bucks, uh, so, but it's weird how it opens up like that. Uh, the spot is accurate. Um, DVD logo is printed the right way. Um, old style movie that I never had to get or I never rented. So these are the movies I have written down first on the list. So this is a really big one off my movie list. Still a couple other older movies that I could get on uh, like a Rambo was a replacement movie uh, got a comedy movie on there so it's 
couple other things on there, a couple of Stephen King movies, and then I had Guilty's, and I think Troll is also on there, I kind of find another old movie, it's going to be pretty expensive to get, so, and Guilty's is not the rarest one, but I think Trolls is also very rare to get, I think Troll or Trolls, uh, that's an old VHS movie, um, if I could get that one, I'll be really happy with my horror collection, but this one just put the cherry on the top uh, to have it in my collection, Ghoulies. At least part one, maybe next year I'll try to get part two, um, and then I'll probably buy the whole pack, like part one, part two, part three together. Um, I could have done that, but I want to have at least part one, the original one, uh, in my collection, so make sure I get that. So, this is how the VHS looked like as well. He was sitting in the toilet, but whether or not the movie's good or not, I don't know, but I know this is an old horror movie that I never got to rent. So, I had a couple movies like that written down. Ones I wanted to see, but I never had a chance to. Um, and they're all common movies. You keep finding some of these on Region 2 now as well, but I do try to get the Region 1 first. Uh, I don't like getting other region formats in my movie collection, it's not something I collect on, so... Um, I know a lot of people do collect in region 2, because that's what they have in their area, so... For me, it's been always about region 1, and uh, these are the movies that we have in our area, so... Uh, and they can get pretty expensive, 50 to 100 bucks for some of these older horror movies, and this one's getting pretty close to a $50 value, so... Um, depending on the shipping, some people could have 20 bucks on the shipping, you can pay at least 50 bucks to get it, but I only paid uh, 30, 30 bucks for it, 35 bucks for it, so it's almost $40 movie, so it's a lot of money for an old movie, and it's the rarest one I have, so thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll get part two someday, if not, probably sometime next year, um, probably not this year, uh, just happy to get at least this one, but from, from now, anytime I get something, it's going to be something I don't have and something I want, so it's not going to be something, oh, just because it's an old movie, I'm going to have to pick it up, it's going to be something I want to have, um, not just because it's an old movie, uh, thanks for watching.